So as I speak, uh, the cost of uh, sequencing a genome, that is all the DNA that's present in an individual, is plummeting in the way really is analogous to the way that uh, computer power has really gotten smaller and smaller and much more efficient over the past 20 years. So this is truly the era of uh, translational medicine and personalized medicine. So now, as I speak, we can really sequence an individual's genome for something approximately $5,000, something that was unheard of just two years ago. And we anticipate, in fact, that this cost will, will continue to fall. And uh, from this large amount of information, we're actually working specifically on ways to visualize this information. While Cornell has something called the cave, for example, which is a room uh, which, in which information can be presented in a 3D format. That is, when you have large blocks of information, uh, you know, for example, like is used from satellites and, or weather uh, in the, you know, from the defense industry, we can now try to leverage some of that technology specifically to look at an individual's genetics. That we can pinpoint uh, what distinguishes individuals, and in particular, in genes that are associated with cancer and uh, their tumors. We can also sequence to identify precisely what has gone wrong and what we need to fix in order to help these individuals and cure their cancers. What's coming in the future? I think very soon we're going to see a day where when kids are born, actually, we sequence their genomes in the same way that now we do birth screening. For example, we screen for things like um, thalassemia, Down syndrome, thyroid disorders. I think in the very near future, we will take a drop of blood and we'll be able to understand all the genetic changes in the individual. And from that point, we can try to provide sort of personalized preventative care. Preventative care is a particular focus at New York Presbyterian Hospital in order to keep, in order to keep our patients healthy. Specifically, um, we anticipate that, for example, when, it, when a child is born, uh, certain individuals will have cancer susceptibilities, and we can screen them more frequently in order to prevent the cancers and to catch them when they come early. Other individuals will have issues with, say, allergy, asthma, cardiovascular disease, and we can tailor their care specifically to prevent the diseases and keep our patients in the most healthy state possible for as long as possible.